Hello. Yes, hello. Welcome to Arcana Homesteading. We're your hosts, Sherry. And Shauna. Do you want me to keep my shoulders and back? Are you going to introduce yourself? You can introduce yourself. I'm going to try and keep it real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that's, and that's, that's honest. Husband Honest, and he's joining us today. has his own microphone. He's so all set up. when we, he's amazing. he says something funny and we laugh, you can hear what he Actually says. Actually hear him and not some like distant like yeah. ghost in the background yeah. or something. Ghost. Yeah, ghost. <laughs> You know, like, like we're like, <laughs> you're such a funny ghost. Such a funny ghost. <laughs> you always, always the one with the jokes. <laughs> jokey, jokey. <laughs> yes, Shauna. Okay, a joking ghost. Uh, yes. Anyways, we have one. He, <laughs> but now you can hear it on his microphone. Uh, it's a lot uh, of pressure. <laughs> I know you have to be really funny this time. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the bar is set high, honest. The bar um, is high. Anyways, today we are talking about plant incompatibility because we thought it would be really fun to talk about In this gardens. after everybody planted their garden so you can run out tonight and be like, <laughs> <"Rip> out. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. You God can't plant that together. Um, I feel like a lot of times people talk about like what you should plant with your plants, like what goes together, you know, but they don't really talk about like what you should never plant together. And, you know, a lot of it is, it's kind of weird because it's not like, um, it has, I got really, it's really yeah, loud. My, she's really loud. All I'm going to like, my, sorry to talk about technical stuff. We honest bought this. Okay. It's like a mothership. Like it's like it looks like a little mini spaceship. Like the things are just gonna pick up and fly out the door yeah, in a second. It has it's all, all kinds of knobs. My were turned down. That's probably why it was so loud. Oh, Jesus I was smart! It. I didn't hear it. Very so smart. Bad. Earlier, he talked into the microphone, and I thought my soul was leaving my body. Like I like it gave me heartburn. It was so loud. Like it was crazy. <laughs> that's what, that's how she talks to her husband. <laughs> your your voice gives me heartburn. <laughs> it did though. I was like, oh god. <laughs> Breathe. You're crushing me with your voice. Fourteen beautiful years. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, anyways, so we're we're it's a lot of technical stuff today. So better, we though? apologize. Yeah, it is better. better. We apologize in advance if uh, we are kind of messing with some things because we have new new technical setups, which is fun technical and exciting. Setups. But yeah. Anyways, learning curves. Shut up, Jerry. Anyways, <laughs> talking about whatever we're just talking about gardening. Yeah. How is gardening any better? I mean, it is better, but what talking are you about talking this talking about stuff, technical stuff? I'd wait. I would totally rather talk about gardening any day. No, no, no. I would too. Like I'm just technical saying. Technical anything is like weird. <laughs> weird. Gotten a little bit of both. And <laughs> she doesn't care if you're offended. Technical <laughs> anything is weird. <laughs> I hate it. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. Low, low, low. Look at that jerk wanting people to hear and see us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, if weren't for Shauna's husband, you would not I hear us or see us. Um, anyway, so a, a lot of people don't realize, like, that the wise, like, some plants don't get along with others. And a lot of it, like, nobody really knows. Like, it's just, like, they, like, can make their guesses and, like, stuff like that. But it's just, like, you know, some things they know, but other things are just, like, they just don't fucking like each other. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. No, I hate you more. Um, so... Anyways, um, j t let Jelly come inside. No, he's annoying. We he have lies. the door open because it's yeah. like nice out, but like the kids keep popping by and like doing like weird dance moves, and like <laughs> the dogs are like, "I need him to be." And we're with like, you. "Go away." <laughs> um, anyways, so the first thing before you start putting plants with each other is you want to make sure that they like the same amount of like sun. Right? Because if yes, you put a plant definitely. that likes shade with a plant that likes sun, like, one of them's going to die. Yeah. And and sometimes it's not always obvious what <clears throat> likes sun and what doesn't like sun. That's even true with the well. Even with the, those, those little fucking tags on the thing of the vegetable that you they buy. They you. Or the seed. That, 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 that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Um, or the seed packets. They're like, full sun really or... Full whatever like like tomatoes and full sun no, tomatoes and full sun it's just like that's a that's a definite no go. Well, at least for us here, and I I know we've talked about that before, but a lot of it's just going to be like trial and error, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so a lot of the um, so yeah, so do you want to check your light compatibility? I don't know. 
Okay. Also, um, as with light, obviously, uh, water requirements. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you can't plant something that needs a ton of water next to something that doesn't like a lot of water. And um, sometimes the plants that like a lot of water, they will take the water from the surrounding vegetables and end up, you know, killing the other ones that maybe their roots don't go as deep right, or exactly, whatever. So, exactly. So there are some things to think about when... Um, when planting, obviously a lot of us already have our gardens up and going. Mine is doing fucking phenomenal this year. Pat myself on the back. I love our raised beds. We, we've all... We've yeah, ra raised beds, I'm sorry, but it's just hands down. Or even like container gardening. Just uh, hands down the way to do it because so much you just don't have to worry about any of the of your, the you know, anything eating your vegetables from the ground, from the and bottom, right? And you can right? add, like, like we did the like lasagna. Like underground, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the lasagna layering in our in our beds, and so because I was kind of like annoyed about because we would just plant in rows and we have like a bunch of space, so we were able to plant like a fucking shit ton of plants, but we like would always lose a lot of it to like gophers and yeah. you know just different things, and even um, knowing that our, we have good soil, and I would add different things to the you know I would fertilize and other shit. It's just like. Sherry's garden and Sherry's always had the um, garden beds. We yeah. always do so much better than mine. Um, and so it was kind of like frustrating, I guess. But um, but see, that's all it was, was the beds. But like you know we did mean? the lasagna layering and like the one bed we did, like I was super like taking my Thorough time. and thoughtful. Yeah. And yes. I was like, I did like all the layers, like I did all the little sticks and I was like, I did all the... I have it on Instagram if you want to go and see like the what's the Process. time lapse yeah. time lapse of that. But um, it was just super cool, and we did like the compost, and we did the hay, and we did the you know more compost, and it was just it worked out perfectly. The bed is just taking off, and it loves its life right now. Hmm. The all other, the life, all the life. The other bed, like I, we were trying to hurry and get it freaking done because I had to plant the fucking tomatoes and like I was like stressing so I was like just you know after like the third or fourth layer I was like just fucking fill it with dirt like I'm over it I don't care <laughs> totally over this so that Get it one done. yeah and that was the tomato bed which was stupid because obviously they like lot lots of nitrogen but that's fine I've been still fertilizing them yeah. um so um anyways I don't know how I got off on a tangent my my garden's doing awesome so um I feel like I did overcrowd it because I was so used to being able to plant so much of everything and then I really had to like cut back but still I was like no I want more fucking vegetables <laughs> Get right the fuck you're there. like get in there get <laughs> in there you you're squash. gonna love it you're gonna I'll love, love it um so I did overcrowd it but I'm just I'm fine I'm fine with it okay I'm fine with it <laughs> she's <laughs> fine with her choices um so the things that you can't plant together um mint and onions with asparagus so um again there's a lot of these things where like some of it is like it does it it affects the ph balance and it's all like scientifical <laughs> <laughs> that's a word <laughs> and we're not going to tell you any of that scientifical part okay we're just going to tell that. you you're going to have to google don't it don't do it why don't mint and yeah. onions like and asparagus? do you really need to know yeah you don't you don't you just really don't need to know like yeah. just don't plant them together there you go there congratulations you go. um nice. Amazing. I know that was amazing. The light, just light was all like Hello. got bright. It was like the sun coming out from behind a fucking cloud. Um, black walnuts interfere with plants like tomatoes and eggplants and your any corn. So, so black walnuts. I know you're not like gonna plant some fucking walnut tree more than likely. That'd be really random. I mean, you could, but they're very pretty. But you have to be sure because sometimes those black walnut like the shells and shit. That can be in um, different kinds of mulches you're going to buy that at like just like Home Depot. Which is weird because they affect so much. I know, so because much. they affect different plants. Like why are they in there? Don't use black walnut shells for anything. And, and so look at, make sure you're looking at the ingredients when you do go to buy, if you are buying mulch or soil or whatever, make sure you're looking at what's in that because you don't want to like fuck up your whole garden because, oh my shit, like this did have black walnuts in it. Like I don't know why, like you said, that's the dumbest thing to put in there. Out of all the things... They could use anything. It's just mulch. I don't know. It is weird. I we I mean, have... I'm sure it has its good, like, helpful properties to, to it, right? But, like, which, of course, I don't know either. But, <laughs> like, it's just, like, <laughs> weird, right? I don't know either. It's like... Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> we have an almond tree. You know? Do you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Yeah. You know why you don't know? We get like one or two fucking almonds every year. They're so, so good though. I've never had a better almond. Do you than... hoard them for yourself or do you give them to your kids? I give them to my kids, of course. I like Such will take a good like mom. I know I'll take Such like a, a small mom. bite. I'm like oh, I want to eat all of this one almond that we got from our tree. I don't know. I don't know. If that it's is like... so funny. I mean, obviously it's missing something. Obviously, but like and you it's... guys want to know why? I looked it up. What? What? The black walnuts? Yeah, it says that um, black walnuts produce a compound called uh, juglone that is produced from the black walnut trees that is uh, will ca- cause death to most plants susceptible to plants. So oh, crazy. Juglone. 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 G-U-G- uh, J-U-G-L-O-N-E. J-U-G-L-O-N-E. All right, all right. Well, look at that. See, and this is another reason we have Honest over there looking at looking up all the scientific We told you to parts. be funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was your purpose in life, is to be funny. They don't want to learn about black walnuts and their juglone. <laughs> That, that is that is that was a borderline uh, racist remark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's great though. Thank you. That was awesome. Um, so, Good job. So mm-hmm. this next one mm-hmm. I think is pretty obvious, but maybe not. No. Yes, it is. It's not. So you can't plant um, any of your. I don't know how to say the word. Yeah. Brassicas. Brass, brassicas. 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 I said that wrong. Brassicas? So that's brassicas? your cabbage. Shauna, stop it. That's your cabbage, cauliflower, Brass- broccoli, yes. Brussels sprouts um, near tomatoes. Um, and that's that whole family. Kale is also in that family, but I think they're, f- I don't know if it's fine near tomatoes. No, it's not. Because it actually inhibits the growth of the tomatoes. Like it- And so like, so the tomatoes won't grow if you plant any of that family of veggies near your tomatoes. They won't, they won't do as well. Yeah. And, um... Oh, you shouldn't plant them near anyways because if you've ever tried to plant like um, freaking cauliflower and broccoli, it is at least where we're at, it is so fucking hard. Like they always are just attacked by um, different pests. What's the little fucking thing that's all over them all the time? A little no, bug. Aphids? Earwigs? Aphids. Earwigs? That's not a little bug. Oh, they do attack things though. I We have so many... Pincher bugs? Yeah, it's gross. I don't like the name earwigs. It's gross. Pincher bugs? <laughs> it, so I'm not going to say it. I'm not using it. Look how cute they look now. Don't use that. <laughs> Pinchers. So much cuter. Pincher, pincher bug. We have a crazy amount. Like, you always do, though. That's every year around a certain time. I remember that one time, like, you would, like, open your door, and there was, like, all over your fucking door. You're like, oh, my God, what's happening? I, it's like, like the movie um, with the spiders, arachnophobia. arachnophobia. Um such a dumbass movie, but and I that's funny. what it's like. But but Shauna has pincher bugs instead of spiders, like invading her home. I actually <clears throat> um, <clears throat> very weird. It is weird. So we don't have because like their chickens always are on the porch. We don't have as many around our doorway. That's great. I know. Thank you, chickens. No, thank you, chickens. We have a lot of chicken poop on the porch now, though. So it's a trade off. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'd rather chicken poop than than a uh, shit ton of pincher bugs. That's yeah, like, but like weird. we have so many. I. I, like, feel bad because, like, you know, they don't really, like, pinch you or anything. They're fine. You can, like, hold them and stuff. They're not going to hurt Ew. you. You never held they're, a pincher bug? No. It's disgusting and weird. Why it's the is only that one that does that. Because they're creepy and weird. They're and not they're so, creepy. They're so, so everybody likes ladybugs because they're, what, colorful and have they're spots adorable, on them? Shana. Have you seen them eat a fucking aphid? They don't look that adorable. <laughs> they're, they're like, get mo- up here, They're aphid. monsters. Get in my belly. <laughs> they're crazy. <laughs> have you seen one eat? I don't know if I've ever seen one. There's but like I a close up them. video of like them eating aphids and it yeah. is like terrifying. They're monsters. They are. <laughs> well, what do you think fucking pincher bugs do? Like they're, they're I'm sure they're little monsters too. <laughs> I know, but you're like, you will hold a ladybug is my point. Do you know what was in my bedroom last night and we, I couldn't find it? <laughs> Dea saw it. What? She's like, Mom, Mom, come here. And I run in there because we, they were just, we're just, we're going to bed soon. And I'm like, what? And she's like, there was the creepiest bug. I just ran out the bathroom and ran behind that. And she points to like the laundry basket. Was and it I'm a like, wind scorpion? It's a fucking wind scorpion. <gasps> and I was like, where did it go? And she's like, it's right there. It's it's, it's behind that laundry They're basket. so fast. And so I was like, okay, okay. And I'm like ready to like get this thing right. <laughs> and I'm like, here we go. And I have, I put on my farm boots because I'm like, fuck you. You're not biting my feet. Oh. Like no fucking way. So I'm like, one, two, and three. It and I pull. You? No, it's gone. <gasps> Just like completely fucking gone. It says fucking windscorpion. I had to like, go to sleep at night last night being like, 
cool, 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 cool. <laughs> There's like a wind scorpion in my room. Wind scorpions, if you, like if you don't know them, so they don't look like a traditional scorpion, but um, well, and they don't not, have like the tail, but they yeah. bite super hard. Like they'll take a chunk of skin out. Like, do you? You don't need to say that. <laughs> That was unnecessary. <laughs> did you not know that? I did not know that. And you're just trying to scare me now. I'm not trying to scare you. Because they by the way, take I, a have chunk to, of skin out. I have to go they're home very, and like, sleep again in my have room. Have you seen? They're like, you know, look at their front like. Such a bitch. <laughs> Such a bitch. It's true. They hurt a lot. It's painful. They are very good at catching <laughs> bugs though. And they're, they're like that's incredible. What, they're super fast and that's what they're like, you know, made for. And they can get really, really big. Like we've had some like huge ones here. Yeah, I've had, I've had pretty big ones too. But, um. Hey, hey guys. I just, we're, hi love. He's like, I'm going to stare at you <laughs> awkwardly. Podcasting? Yeah, we podcasting. are podcasting, yes. Go play. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay. Okay, in a minute uh, when we're done. Okay, I'm going to let you know when we're done. Why can't I play right now? Because you guys are kind of loud when you game. No, I won't be loud. And you swear. It's okay. In a minute. Yeah. Go go find something to do right Your now. Your switch is on the couch charging. Go play. Oh, yeah. We're, we're not doing it right now. Go ahead. Hurry. Go. We'll run away. Swim away. Okay. What? Good job. No. Anyways, so I have this wind scorpion that I have to go home and sleep with again I in mean, my room. To be fair, though, you probably, this probably happened several times. You just didn't see the little guy run past, you know? No, I think it went into my closet, and there's probably lots of bugs to eat in there, so he'll probably be very happy in there for a little probably while. Probably live a very long. Or my cats will get him, hopefully. Hopefully the latter. Yeah, they, um, those things are so fast, though. But, yeah, like. They have, like, all these legs. I thought one was, like, a ball of hair once, and I went to pick it up because I legit thought it was a ball of hair. When my boys were younger, Lorenzo had this long the blonde hair. Yes. That's weird. He was curled up in my bathroom in my shower. Weird. I went to pick him up and he was like, Meh. he like totally and like he didn't twisted. Bite you? Sure, he's part Medusa. I f- scorpion here. Freaking <laughs> I freaking like threw it and ran away and did the heebie jeebie dance a couple times. <laughs> and I told Juan to go in there and get it. It was very creepy. Uh actually funny story, this is not talking about um, veggies and what you can't plant with them, but um when so Sherry's husband is like you know Hispanic. He's like straight from Mexico, right? And straight from Mexico. Straight from Mexico. I like how you say that. It's super. No roundabout routes for him. <laughs> and uh. so when they um, were it, like first married, it was so it was pretty like whatever. And but he had been living here in California for. It wasn't when we were first married. Talking about the scorpion situation. Yeah. No, we weren't even married yet. Oh, you weren't married yet? No, we were just, I mean, we had two kids, so we were just We had two kids. <laughs> kids um, first, then marriage. <laughs> See if you like them first, people. They actually had three kids before they finally got married. Two. Well, I was pregnant with her. Yeah. Yeah. I Potato. mean, I guess she was, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Um, anyways, but so he was, was he in the garage? You tell it. I'm, I'm going to okay. fuck it up. So I, he, he, he calls me out to the garage. We live in this big house, and it had this huge three-car garage. And he's like, get out here. Get the kids. And I'm like. And he, he's, like, frantically, like... Were the kids sh- in the garage? Or yeah, he wanted you the to kids, bring them? Okay. No, no, the kids were in the garage, just playing and stuff. And so I'm like, you guys, come here. Like, I, and I still don't know what's going on. And then he's, like... he's And then he starts, like, moving the wood. And he and he, I, I could see him, like, finding things. And he's, like, smacking it with a broom. I'm like, what are you smacking? Like, what is in that wood pile? He's like, there's scorpions in here. They're going to kill us. And I'm like, no, they're not going to kill anybody. I was like, honey, scorpions don't kill people here. I know that that's... <laughs> <laughs> and like he I was trying to explain that that's just a bee sting it's gonna it sucks but it's just like it's just gonna be yeah you'll live like, like a bee sting probably less than a bee sting you're definitely gonna live in California and he's like what no what are you talking about and he was so exasperated with me and he would not stop like Killing pummeling these thing. things with like a fucking broom like he's like and my husband is not um the type of guy to be he's not like ew a bug like not at all like that like he'll pick things up all the time and bleh. anyways like I like but I he, he don't legit like bugs. thought it meant like death. Like he was associating these scorpions yeah. with like they're going to kill my children. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill my <laughs> my wife. Whatever he it wanted to call like it back then. It's a practical joke you could do over and over and <laughs> yes. over again. But you know this stemmed from when he was a young boy in Mexico. He they were walking through some fucking I don't even know what mango orchard or something like that. 
one of his cousin got no i'm not even joking it was a mango orchard they would pick pick mangoes and run because they would steal them <laughs> anyways <laughs> one of his cousins got uh, stung by a scorpion and they tried to rush him to the to the doctor or i don't even know if they made it to a hospital or whatever and he he didn't make it he he died he has and ptsd and so he has ptsd from this like it, it's like a legitimate fear he's like and i feel cancer. bad for laughing so hard <laughs> right yeah he he like Watch his cousin die slowly. Oh, You're just God. like, cool. Yeah, That's so he, awful. he definitely has some scarring there. <laughs> he has trauma. <laughs> trauma. He will never admit to it. Never admit to that trauma. <laughs> but yeah, he there definitely is reasons, you know, that he is he is so uh, uh, terrified of these. And my husband is not like the guy to be terrified. You know, he's just not afraid of like. Oh, that's so sad. Why didn't you tell me that before? I have. I oh. have. Yeah. You just don't have a memory for things that don't amuse you. <laughs> That sounds really harsh. But accurate. <laughs> no, I don't like knowing people's trauma. <coughs> yes. That, you. Yes, exactly. You don't have a memory for things that don't amuse you it's or hold a, your a, attention. No, that's a, that sounds horrible. I, it's not like everything has it's to like, be like, if it doesn't make me happy, not going to remember it. But like, <laughs> That's exactly how you are. <laughs> you always, she always says, Put that little box, throw that into the ocean. <laughs> don't need that anymore. <laughs> Bling. <laughs> She's like, la, 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 don't want to know. Yeah, that's totally oh, yeah, how you are. I totally blocked it out because it was sad. Yeah. Now I know it again. And now you have to block it out again. Now I have to block it Put out it in all a box, over again. Throw in the ocean. Great, Sherry. Great. Now that's, guess what I'll be doing the rest of the night? <laughs> Finding a fucking empty box, putting in the ocean. <laughs> ocean of thoughts. Oh, God. Oh, poor Juan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that story really took a turn for the worst. <laughs> well, um, I thought that was going to be a fun story. <laughs> Turns out it was just dramatic. So cool, 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 cool. Um, on to... Way to be a downer. Potatoes. You shouldn't plant... <laughs> <laughs> on to potatoes. <laughs> That's exactly how Shauna's brain works. She's like, trauma? No, we're talking about potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's going in the box in the ocean. <laughs> I, I just don't know where else to go from there. Like, what do you say after that? Clean segue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. It's not where Shauna. Shauna's like, how do I quickly get out of this now? The Changing quickest route. Changing the subject. She's, potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> okay, so um, potatoes near tomatoes. They just, um, they compete for the same nutrients and are susceptible to the same diseases, same bugs. Same kind of things, and they need the same stuff more or less, and so. Well, and it's also potatoes, like are you know obviously they're like a root vegetable, right? Because like when you plant a, I don't know if you ever plant a potato, but if you ever have, you know, you fucking like plant the potato, and then it's going to grow into more potatoes, right? But those potatoes are like, <laughs> you know, they're fucking, <sighs> you know, like they're potato size. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> It's so like she like, thinks wanting to do a five year old. She's like, they're going to grow more fucking potatoes. Well, obviously. Grow one, get one. <laughs> you, you have this potato you later. You always say things are obvious, so I always feel bad because I'm like, maybe I think things are obvious and you they're not. You should feel a lot worse about how you're explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, uh, oh, Sean was like, it's not obvious <laughs> that I'm going to make you feel very dumb about it. Look okay? at my hand. Ashamed of you. <laughs> Okay. They might get this big. <laughs> so since they are growing, mm. they will they can like cause the root damage to your tomatoes since right, they're making they're a, deep a potato. Because they're a deep rooted vegetable. So, so don't they compete do it. for space okay? and all that stuff. So if you planted your potatoes, so you know what you might I, get I, a lot of potatoes, but you're not gonna get any tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it all rhymes. I love rhymes. Me too. So and no more rhymes, I mean it. <laughs> Do you want a peanut? No. Does anybody want a peanut? How many do you get if you I can say, one? do you? Potatoes? No, peanuts. Oh, you get a lot of peanuts. I hate peanuts. It's gross. I hate peanuts, too. Yeah, I'm not a fan. That's and you know, you really shouldn't. Later. You really... <laughs> <laughs> you really should not eat... Like, unless they're, like, organic or you grew them yourselves, peanuts are highly to, sprayed with pesticides. It's I disgusting. want to grow my own peanuts. I don't know if we can. Can we grow peanuts here? What do you mean, can you? I'll have to check with the uh, local <laughs> I know. What do you mean? Like, I mean, will they do well here? Oh. I don't fucking know. I don't know either. I've never tried, but I wanted to I try. would never grow them. You wouldn't? I don't like them. It, it's fun to, like. I don't like them, Sam. I am. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
like to pull them out of the ground and all the little peanuts hanging there? It's cool. It sounds slightly weird, actually. The ideal growing temperature for peanuts is between 86 and 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, we got that. I'm not going to so tell you again. Only that's, funny, okay? That's on lock. We got that. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. Um, what were we talking about before peanuts? <laughs> oh, they were talking about how gross potatoes. peanuts are. What are you talking potatoes. about? Potatoes. potatoes and tomatoes. They all um, so prime. So, <laughs> shut up. Um, so, but what you should plant near potatoes is horseradish. Isn't that mm. weird? Isn't that weird? I did not know that. Yeah, because like the horseradish actually changes like the pH, whatever the fuck in the soil, mm. and it like it helps it helps the potatoes. They like. Anyways. They enjoy it. Yeah, they they enjoy like it. it. Yeah. So I, so I just dedicate a whole fucking bed to my tomatoes. Like we eat a lot of tomatoes, and that's like what I want the most of. Like a whole bed, just tomatoes. Do you, but do you plant nothing anything, else? Like you know, like you can plant like lettuce with tomatoes. Like no, in, my my lettuce has, my lettuce has its own bed as well. That's another thing we eat a lot of. That I also actually gets its own bed. planted um, pole beans in between my. Oh tomatoes. yeah, you said that. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm pretty cool like that. Pretty cool like that. She's a cool. If you are planting potatoes, though, you shouldn't probably plant them in your garden beds. You should plant them in containers or feed bags. Well, they need they need a really, really, really deep soil that's very, um, you know, it's not like super rock hard. It's more like they're, sandy. They're just, amazing. They're not gonna do well in like potatoes rock hard. Like more sandy. Anyways, containers. That's the way to go. Like a big, huge fucking metal water truck. Because they and they'll they can take over. Like you'll be just pulling potatoes for the rest of your life. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want. <laughs> if that's your ideal living you situation, should you should do that. Um. <coughs> Oh, peppers. So peppers are like super easy, like hot peppers, regular peppers, whatever the fuck peppers you're talking about. They're um, usually like most things, right? Like they're pretty... Um, they're easy. They're a very easy plant. Easy. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Shauna has just one specific laugh that she does when she's like thinking something dirty and you're just like... And then, and then she doesn't want to say it. Like... I'm like, they're a very easy plant. She's like, mm ha, ha, ha. I'm just like, what? Oh, God. She's one lucky carrot. <laughs> Anyways, but you shouldn't plant them near beans. Don't know why. <laughs> Don't know why. They just say you shouldn't. And Honest is going to look it up, and Shauna's going to yell at him. My hands are here. I'm not doing nothing. You also like, shouldn't no. plant the, um, say the word. Say it. Say it. Bra Brass Brassicas? Brassicas, yeah, that's it. Brassicas? Is it Brassicas or Brassicas? Bra? You have brassicas. probably said that word probably, I'm not even shitting you, like a hundred times today. Today? Just today. <laughs> like I was in the bathroom Is doing, doing my makeup and you probably bra? said it like 50 times in there. Is there like an Brassica? Here, I'll play it. I think it's Brassica. Okay, well shut up or no one's going to actually hear it. Wrong seekers. That's not how you say it. <laughs> Brassicas. That is not how you say it. Brassicas. Brassicas. We're not fucking from, we're not British. Well, like, they say bra, we well. say bra. So brassicas. Brassicas. You sound like you're from like fucking <laughs> New York. <laughs> brassicas. <laughs> they grow in Nebraska, right? In Nebraska brassicas. Uh, anyways, you shouldn't plant that with peppers. But like I said earlier, you should plant your brassicas. That's how I'm going to say it. So don't make fun of me. Um, like separately, like completely separate. Because yeah, they definitely need their own box or container or something or bed yeah. because, like we were saying earlier, they're it, on top of being just very difficult to grow. A lot of different pests like that, <coughs> and if obviously those pests are on that plant, those pests jump over to your peppers. And peppers aren't obviously completely immune to, to all the, the, your annoying garden pests. Like I had actually kind of a hard problem with my freaking peppers last year. I had some pests all over them. Oh really? Very annoying. I just used the diatomaceous earth and. They left it alone, but yeah. Um, Obnoxious little pests. I think out of the, that family, brassicas, I feel like kale is really the only one that's like super yeah, I, easy. I have kale with my lettuce, and I know some people don't do that. Like you were like, oh, you shouldn't do that. I don't have a, a problem with it. Did I say you shouldn't? Yeah. Oh. I like like you, and you were saying it's because of the pests. Oh, because they, they, yeah. yeah. But it was already too late. I was like, well, <laughs> what's done is done. <laughs> um... Mm -hmm. So, oh, and then garlic and onions actually interfere with um, beans and peas. 
I you hate do. peas. You do hate peas. You've always hated peas. I hate peas. I blame dad and his dumb song when they're little. <laughs> Eat your peas with honey because something without not sticking to the fork or sticking to the fork or sticking to the spoon. Stop. <laughs> You're ruining it. I can't even think of it now. It was a knife. No, don't think yeah, of it. Yeah, it was a knife. Don't think of it. No one cares about it. It's disgusting and it. How does it go? Probably I eat my peas with honey. With... I've done it all my life. It makes the peas taste funny, but it keeps them on the knife. It's disgusting. And talk about trauma. No. <laughs> I was traumatized. You never had to eat peas with honey. It's just my the dad, idea when I was and younger, the thought. <laughs> talk about knives. I know. I know. Your poor husband had like all kinds of trauma, and you're like trauma. Okay, <laughs> trauma. Peace and honey, feel bad for me. I never ate it. I just heard about it in a fucking song. <laughs> you're so crazy. Not for me. I said, nah. -uh. <laughs> I'm not crazy. It's gross, and I fucking hate. Be okay, they are disgusting. They taste gross. No matter how you cook them, they're disgusting. They're not. I don't like them. What don't about like in like a? What did you say? <laughs> I take it back. I don't. I hate peas too. Be better, honest. Be and like better. a shepherd's pie. No, I pick them out. Really? No, just put them aside. They're so good though in the shepherd's They're pie. They're not good. Don't ever say it again. It's disgusting and weird. <laughs> I shall not. That'll you're, be the end of this you're podcast. You're banished from saying it or even thinking of it. <clears throat> don't even think it. Um, oh, so you shouldn't <clears throat> plant pole beans near beets. I don't ever plant beets really. Who I feel does? Like I should. <laughs> Doesn't, do, do people plant beets? Yeah, sure. A lot of people plant beets. A lot of people like beets. Dad I'm loves not, beets. I know. Don't Dad does shit. love beets. It's <laughs> weird. Fucking beets is fucking beets. I know. Beets and beets. Not in my garden. <laughs> yeah, it, it is my garden. Thank you very much. Mine. No, I don't like... I'm not... No, actually, the, the beet salad that your mom made yesterday, Shauna's mother-in-law, honest mom, very good. Oh, see? So maybe you should plant beets. No. So she only Still likes beets you. if they're brought up well. Yeah. Her family. Well, and... Made for me. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not planning them. Not making them. There's actually, I like because I don't like certain veggies. I just I'm, I'm obviously not going to buy them or cook them. That's bizarre. And so there's so many things my kids have not like tried, like beets. Just because peas, you don't like them. Just because I'm like, ew. <laughs> no, I'm not feeding you that. And it's That's like funny. hysterical. Like they've just never tried. Well, mm. hashtag mom fail. And it's fine though. I'm fine with that. 100% I don't know. okay. I, Hashtag beats me. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought I hated onions for most of my life. Our mom. So, because she is very good at convincing people, by the way, especially if you're a child and very, you know, <laughs> childlike, <laughs> impressionable. Uh, <laughs> and she, we were convinced, both of us, for. So many, I like into my so adulthood. Into like, my adulthood, wasn't, yes, like, exactly. It wasn't like just when no, I was like a child. into my twenties. Like into, I, I, I think I had kids by the time I finally realized that. Hey, I think I like. I, onions. I know. And even when I told mom I liked onions, she's like, "No, you don't." Yeah, she's like, "No, you don't." <laughs> I was like, I "Listen sure to, <laughs> listen to the brainwashing. You don't <laughs> like it." Okay. I was like, anytime <laughs> it was always like, "No, you guys don't like onions," because she hates onions. I think she's warming up to them though, which is she. Weird. She uses them all the time now because, like, but her, but that's from her, her mother. Her mother, my, our grandma, yeah. she despised onions, like despised. Even the smell, like, would make her sick. She hates, hates, hates. And hates. so she had convinced my mom that, that she, she hated like onions. onions. My mom and then, was like, you know, it's just like, well, this is what we do. We convince our kids they don't like onions. Yeah, and so I, I legit long line of uh, vegetable racism. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously, and then when I got so like funny. older, and I was like. I like onions a lot. <laughs> like, they're actually I'm, really good. And I would, like, eat them and stuff. My mom would be like, you don't like those. And she'd be like, so Spit it out. So you're, you're not eating that. I was like, I'm an adult, and I decided I like <laughs> onions. Mom. Shut up. I'm an adult, <laughs> and I decided. <laughs> and then, but then she now eats them. So I think, you know, yeah, she was brainwashed as well. Yeah, for sure. It was very weird. So, but see, so I'm look not, what you're doing to your kids. No, no. Honestly, like, want to bring home all sorts of, like, weird stuff all the time. It's weird. Yeah, my kids for a and while. So, and, and they just eat. You know, it's like they, and it's not like they've never tried things. Like, they've tried them here and there. Just like, I just don't buy them and cook them because I don't, <clears throat> I'm the one cooking and I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. I, for a while, like, when we'd go to, like, a grocery store, mm. like, my kids would want to, like, pick something out that's super random and weird. Yeah. Like out of the produce section, obnoxious, and be like they're gonna hate it, and they would, and it's expensive, so expensive, and the things they pick are always so weird, and you're like, 
I'm not buying you that $15, whatever the fuck that is. No, like, I don't even know I, what that is. Because I, I told him, like, every time we'd go, you could, like, try something else, you know? So we'd buy, like, one, and they would try You're it. like, you could try a new fucking cookie, okay? <laughs> <laughs> something with sugar in it. Uh, I guess fruit has sugar. But, yeah, mm. but they tried some mm. some things. A lot of it they, they didn't really like. But oh, yeah. Some of it. I don't. I can't remember the ones they did. My kids will do that. The girl like mm. dragon fruit. Yeah, dragon disgusting. Fruit. Really, really gross. Not a good fruit. Does not taste good. <laughs> they tried it. They hated it. Okay, great. And the then fruit bigotry continues. And then, and then, what was the other one that they just hated? Some they have liked a few, but they but more or less, I've just wasted a lot of money on them trying new fruits. And they're like, ew, Bastards. it even smells bad. And I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> fucking knew it. You like throw out a chicken. So you like better appreciate that fifteen dollar whatever that is you're eating. Hopefully this doesn't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care if it does. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, you can't plant dill near carrots, and I think this is pretty obvious too. Nope, not obvious. Okay, have you ever planted dill? Have you ever planted dill? Yeah. Okay, you know that certain like cat. What's the dill? That <laughs> I said funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think that hurt his feelings. Sean is mean. Um, I don't have feelings. <laughs> the I way know, you like it. I don't think you... <laughs> My ear is hurting with these mic... With his headphones. Why? Right. I think you have mine or I have yours or Do something. I have yours? Yeah. It's like super you guys hot. Can swap. Names. We can't know. It's too late. I'm super hot today, though. I know. I'm it's like flustered. Hot. Flustered? I'm hot. Okay. <laughs> so then I get flustered because you're just like... It's um, like humid hot. today. It is. It's gross and it weird. It's nice out. I wish the wind would blow in here more. But you know those caterpillars that um, caterpillars? are... Caterpillars? Uh-huh. Why? That... Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why are we talking about caterpillars? That are on the dill that, like, <laughs> attack the dill and will eat it. Oh, yeah. I had that happen last year. Okay. My mammoth dill. They ate it all. So I'm, I don't know if this is the reason. I just... But it's like... Because it's dill and carrots, the top of carrots. I think that those caterpillars also attack... Oh, like it brings them in. But dill I, is another thing I don't plant near my garden because it kind of attracts certain pests that you don't want in your garden. Yeah, if I'm gonna, if I am going to plant it again, I don't think I will just because it was like it barely gave me anything and it was just like attacked and stupid. Anyways, if I plant it again, I had it in a container in the garden, but it's definitely gonna go like on my porch or something. I put my dill like mm. out back. Mm. Yeah, like that's where like out like my back slider door. I feel like. If you have any kind of like the herbs you use a lot for cooking, if they're not really close by, I feel then like you're you, not going to use them. You just don't use them as like yeah, obviously yeah, no, you go out to tip. your garden yeah. and you are like harvest. You know your see, Shauna, your we've probably done probably <laughs> five different homesteading tips episodes. Yeah, never once given that tip. I didn't think about it. I know it's it's it, yeah, it's weird what you don't think about right that you do. But, but that's like that a it lot of so like so many things. I was like, so many things where like people ask questions and stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay, like this isn't something somebody knows. Like I can <laughs> tell people this. It's like you don't think about it. Yeah, but yeah. So like, if you do have like <coughs> like basil and um, and dill, fucking oregano, anything that's like commonly used a lot in your kitchen. I love having my dill right out. I love having mint right outside my back yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, especially like when you're making dinner and stuff after you've been outside all day or doing what the fuck ever. I don't want to like. I, at least for me, my garden isn't just like, hello. Like it's like, got a <laughs> hello. It's like fuck you. You're walking to me. <laughs> yeah, okay? yeah. They like trapes across the yard and you're you getting know, some into exercise. The field. Yeah, like which is fine, and I love where my garden's at. But at the same time, it's just convenient. I have to walk up a very quite steep hill about yeah, 600 feet. Yeah, sucks for feet you more to my garden. So, so like you should definitely yeah, have I some definitely, herbs. But see, it's really tricky for me because fucking chickens. the fucking chickens are just so ravenous. They're crazy. They don't need to be ravenous. They're fed every day, every day. They get chicken feed and they get lena. You can put them inside. They scratch. Like, you know, you know where I should put them on my back porch on a table that the dogs just couldn't get to. Oh yeah, it's the only thing in my backyard is my dogs because. Well, or you could even have lawn built. No, from... ah, get out of here. Whoa, get out of here. You scared the shit out of me. Get. <laughs> I was trying to be scary. See, he walked away. <laughs> Our little sister's dog, Tofu. He is. No, no, no. Get up. Get. I don't think he's gonna get in. He's trying to. He's putting his head there like a big dumb idiot. Anyways, he's like. If he can get into Shauna's house, he's like, I'm coming in there. 
and then he like runs to the food bowl like he's some ravenous psychopath. He has food in his bowl, and he just runs to Shauna's food and just like scarfs the whole bowl down. And he he'll run around the house because he knows the kids will like leave their food places and whatever he can. And he'll just grab things in his mouth as he's like running. He's just like it's like so he's like a tornado with yeah, a mouth. It's, it's so, so fucking weird. crazy to like watch him. Do you remember Supermarket Sweep? <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's tofu. That's tofu in our house. But in your house. Get all the turkeys in the hands. <laughs> Do it so quick. Oh, I was thinking God. about that show the other day. I, I don't that's know why. Weird. It was weird. Now that you're... That is weird. That's so strange. <laughs> Wait, why was I thinking about that? It's a good show. No, it was, it like, was entertaining. It was a fun show to watch. I was always like, I would... You know, when you you're like, you idiot, like, you yeah. should have grabbed the turkeys. You know, you'd like map it out in your head and stuff. Yeah, you're like, no, no, oh, you just failed. Yeah. You, you're, you're done. You're I don't done. know how much like, cashews are. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the nut section. I know, pistachios. Like, what? Uh, so fucking expensive. I love me some cashews. Um. So, yeah. I think that's that's it. That's all I have. That's all you have. That's all the knowledge that she's imparting today, folks. Uh, A lot of it was obvious, okay? And if you didn't know it, then you should be ashamed of yourselves. That's fine. We no, have, no, it's not. It's not. It's not fine. It's not good. No bueno. We have what? standards. We do oh. have standards. <coughs> it's good, mm. you know. Well, I mean, what else? What else do you want to talk about? Garden incompatibility. I have I, to do the drip line soon. I'm not looking forward to. Oh, I have to do a drip line before we leave for Disneyland. I have to do that because, well, like, a long time from now, won't it be like mostly it's, harvested? It's by not. Now? Yeah. It's no. Like it's not be mostly harvested. I know, but like, if you, they you will should, still be alive. Understood, but I'm just saying it's like towards the end of your gardening year. Okay. And it's like, why put a drip line in that late? Like, we Because put, I don't want to have I'm to saying have... just put it in now. Make it easy for you. You're going to just get pregnanter. Pregnanter? That's a word. <laughs> you She's always do. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. It's a word. Sean's you're going to get huge. Of... No, I know. Like, you're already... I Like, today, I was like, Jesus. Like, I kept bumping into your stomach. I was like, why is it so big already? She would, like, hit my stomach. Not hit, but, like, bump it. And she's like... <laughs> she's, she's, like <laughs> she's like, oh, sorry. She, she's like, sorry. Jazz my stomach, like, it's attached. It's mine. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking I felt to. Ba- the baby. I felt bad. I was all, like, elbowing her in the fucking head. She can hear you now, so you I should know. apologize. I did. Yeah. I, I did. <laughs> no, I meant... I mean, yes, I will put it in soon. Just put rather it in than later. Now. Yeah, just put it in now. I know. It, it takes like, me so long to water my and, garden. And it's just going to get hotter out. Like, think how nice it would be to Shana go up says and... that, though, knowing full well I do 100% of it. Put it in now. Of course. Oh, like Aiden's. So, Aiden's. Like so I was going to say, she's not going to do it either. No, I'm not doing it. Aiden, no. I'm going to help Aiden, <laughs> but he is going yeah. to put it in. Because I don't I don't even know how. He, and he knows it all. Like, he knows. Yeah. He can do it all. It's going to be great. Why do we have all these males around? They're supposed to do That's our bidding. Right. Bidding. Do our it. Our bidding. Yeah. I thought it was worth more babies. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I agree. We were, when we went to get uh, Juan's new truck, um, speaking of more babies, he, anyways, went to get Juan's new truck and he's like, the guy's like, we're finishing up and he's just trying to chit chat and he's like, so how many, how many kids do you guys have? And, I was like, well, you know, we have the two at home. I mean, then that's that she's this age and she's this age and he's this age and then one on the way. Was he and like he's just like, a number lady? She yeah, well, no, 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 no. He'd asked the ages of the kids. That's what he had asked. He'd asked ages. So I was giving him the ages. And he's like, and Juan then says something funny when I said, and one on the way, because that's, you know, we have fucking six kids now. And he's like, he's like, man, you need to watch more TV. So fucking funny. I was like, <laughs> Take his advice, honey. Take his advice. That is funny. I didn't get really it at funny. first when you first said it. I was like, <laughs> I know you didn't. I was like, what's on, what's on TV? TV? <laughs> what's on TV? Have you seen Game of Thrones? <laughs> oh. Shauna is very intelligent, but you can be very, very She's slow so sometimes. It's so, it's a very, very funny and odd. Yeah, it just takes my brain a second to like, you know. She's all in five second delay. <laughs> it is. It's not a five second yeah. delay, and she's like, what did you say? What? And then she'll get mad about something you've already gone back. Like, whoa. <laughs> I do do that a lot. Like, he'll say something, it'll be like 30 seconds later. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> wow. 30 second delay. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. I can, I can get, yeah, I, that, that speaks to me a bit. Especially See? angry, being angry later. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Maybe it's I a I want to savor it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe it's a female thing. I don't know. I do that all the time to Juan. And he's, he's, just, he's just like staring at me like, okay. And he just doesn't say anything. He, he'll either walk away from me or just get back on his phone. Like, I'm not, don't look, don't make eye contact. <laughs> Turn you to stone. <laughs> That's probably good uh, that he does yeah. that. Oh, yes. He's very, um, what's the word? He's not confrontational with me at all. <laughs> Which is, you know, that's probably why he's alive still. Beaten? <laughs> Broken? <laughs> you, you, you let me know when I should stop. Aww. No. You know, it sounds like we're not super good to our husbands, but we are. Okay. Sounds like it. <laughs> no. If you see it up close, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> we're so good to them. It's crazy. They're so good guys to are, us. <laughs> you guys are lucky. We're so lucky. <laughs> so lucky. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I always tell Juan he tripped and fell into a hole. Like it's me. <laughs> you tripped and fell into me. I told That's him the, the same thing. That's the only reason. We're... <laughs> uh, I don't yeah, he it. is lucky. Super one. lucky. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a thirty second delay this time, folks. We're good. Go on. <laughs> Anyways, we. I am good to my husband. What are you talking about? I didn't say you were. Yeah, so good. I said. That it sounds because we always like talk shit, you know. That's what That's they hear. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. But like, oh, and there's and obviously true. I mean, not but like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he can. I mean, he knows where the door is. <laughs> same, same. But like, but like you know, same, same, same. It's just like it sounds like we're horrible bitches and we're not. Like we're super good. I, yeah, you should see it on YouTube. <laughs> you see the hand gestures. It makes sense. Uh, I. I am, I am, I am a very, very, I'm a pretty big bitch. I, don't know. I, I, of course, we're yeah. bitches. <laughs> of course, we're bitches. But, like, we are also tagline. very good wives, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> She's like, aren't saying They're so nice to us. <laughs> she even held her finger up, like, you better fucking say it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to open the door again. I'm dying. It's so hot in here. Maybe that's. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what. A, I don't. I really don't like that term. A good wife. It. It does not. Me neither. Does it? <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I just. It's being a wife or being a husband. It's not a job. It's. It's a strange uh, thing that even came about. Where? Who even fucking coined that? A good wife. Like shut up. Get out of here. <laughs> it just, it's awful. It's weird. Like, what does it even entail? And by the way, it's all perspective. No, it's Calm strange. Down. I will not. <laughs> Whoa there, little lady. <laughs> Sherry's going to throw something at your head. Um, no, I get what you're saying. I totally get what you're saying. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I, I, hate, mean, it. I, I hate it now, too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Things gone like, past the delay. <laughs> I understand. Still hate. Like, Hey, hey, hey. Like, I have two girls, and well, three. I have three girls now. And it's just like, I would never be like, are you being a good wife? Oh, like, got it. Well, that's my point. Like, Ew. who even says that? Who thinks that? It's weird. I'm, am I a good wife? <laughs> <laughs> Ask my husband, who's still married to me. <laughs> and I bet you know, I know what he says. Yes. <laughs> it's just so weird. It's just so bizarre and strange. I didn't mean it like that, though. I just meant like we're nice. I know you didn't, but why? see, <laughs> but we're don't, bitches. Don't say it. The underlying. See, but see again, what you're saying earlier, like, isn't this obvious? See, when you say it, like, we're nice wives. Like, don't ever say that again. It's weird. We're <laughs> horrible. I don't want to hear it either. <laughs> don't want to hear it. Either. See, yeah. you and your husband on the same page. Yeah. No, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I'm a good person, and I am not, not identified <laughs> by me being married to my husband. That's bizarre. It is bizarre. It's so bizarre. <laughs> yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. But the baby's Can sad. you hear the baby I in the can, microphones? Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I can, yes, I can hear it. Why is she so mad? Well, I think that's her constant state of being. No, it's not. She's, She's a just very like, happy baby. She's riling up to be a good wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, for sure. Um, we're we're good to each other. Hey, how's that? Yeah, it's a balance. It's a balance, you know? a give and take. When yeah. he's an asshole to me, I'm also an asshole to him. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I'm gonna hold back. I'm not gonna be all like, oh, I'll still make him dinner. It's like, no, fuck you. I'm... I never make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> nope, never. <laughs> Once in a while. Once in a while. Once I make while. dinner. I make dinner. Yeah, I know. You're. Yeah, you. 
I have I God, have a good so wife. You you it's weird. It's your she's like so like oh god, you have it so good. It's so good. You have it so good. See? Yeah. yeah. This is what I'm this no, is what I'm saying. My husband is and he knows. He's just like I pack him a lunch every day. Oh, but that good. is because He only needs one meal. I well, you know, he can buy other things. That is because I really do appreciate him going to work. And I can stay home with the kids, you know. We both have our Little roles we play, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he works his fucking ass off for us. I'm gonna pack you a lunch. But that is me being grateful. Dinner. <laughs> this is love. Dinner. He's home. You you have two hands. You can cook. I've he's I've also been working all cook. day. See, this is that's how I feel. That's how this is how I no view offense. that. No, I'm taken. I don't even like See, to be. See, my kitchen. husband can't cook. No, mine oh. can cook. Mine he can like cook barely. Really, he just yeah. learned how to make rice, and he's super proud of himself. <laughs> Can you send a email with an attachment? <laughs> 70 30 shot. You get it done. Oh my god, that was hysterical. <laughs> I eat so a lot of saying, rice when you're not around. What does, can I say? He does. He's a lot yeah, of rice. so you're saying because he can't cook, you take pity on him and you cook him food. I just, you know, it's just one of those things that has to get done. Like dinner has to be made. <laughs> Yeah. And it's in my skill set. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's my skill yeah. set. And you enjoy it. Yeah, I do like cooking. Yeah. You know, it's not in his skill set. No. But he has, he's very skilled. He just built a fucking tree house. It's phenomenal. Well, and he did this. What did, the fuck is that? I don't know. Is? I hate it. I hate what looking at it. What is it called? What is that? I, I would tell you, but then you still wouldn't care, so. No, I really will. That's her. That's not me. You're yeah. mixing us up here. It says, oh, it says part Zenix. Of it, Jerry, it's a mixer. <laughs> it says, uh-huh. ah. Oh, Premium. okay, okay, okay. Input mixer. You're my premium. Why are you I don't know. So slowly. Because I was trying to read that, like, those tiny words off that fucking like, box that has oh, all these numbers okay. on it. It's like English is your second language or something. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bitch. All right. We're going to wrap this one up, folks. Uh, Thank you guys for stopping by, for listening to all of our crazy yes, banter. Yes. And, and um, hopefully we gave you some info about your garden that you've already planted hopefully you can use that info next year you're welcome <laughs> we're gonna have to go rip some plants out tonight either one it should be great um, <laughs> um as always if you guys have any questions or comments you can uh, contact us on instagram yes or facebook or you can email us at they, our they can't kind... on facebook anymore there's no facebook don't don't do it through Facebook. <laughs> or you can email us through our kind of homesteading at gmail.com um, as always, if you have not left a review, we would love if you did. And if you do leave a review, we will read it out loud yeah. on the episode. And let us know if you want any, um, if you have any episode topic ideas. We always love those. Yes, Karen, I, um, I love the bee idea. We are going to do a bee episode, um, coming up here. We have our next few already planned out, so we're going to get to that eventually, I promise. Yes, definitely. Other than that, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye.